Hey guys, Ashton here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at CO Bigelow Bay Rum. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box and bottle here. So here is the box. Uh, it's pretty simple, not bad looking. It's just got a little like uh, parchment paper look to it in the background, but the box is just flat cardboard. Information on the back with the on the uh, bottom rather with the batch code and ingredients. The top it says CO Bigelow. On the back. It has info on the fragrance itself and a price tag. Bottle, not bad looking, kind of simplistic. This is just a sticker slapped on here and it's, you know, it's the same thing that's on the box. It's got some ribbing on the bottle. Uh, the cap is just real cheap plastic. Atomizer on this is actually pretty good. Check this out. Bam. Not bad. Shoots out a lot of juice. And then, uh, you know, sticker on the bottom with your typical bottle information. So let's go ahead and just read off this box since it gives you the story according to C.O. Bigelow. Our original formulary bay rum has been a timeless favorite through the decades. First developed in 1907 in our Greenwich Village Apothecary, this warm and exotic fragrance masterfully blends bay oil, citrus, and spices. In honor of its unique legacy, we have kept the formula true to the original found in our legendary archives. So yeah, this uh, Originated in 1907, according to C.O. Bigelow, uh, the notes are bay oil, citruses, and spices. Nothing really uh, specific there. When you spray it, you do get a good amount of cloves in those spices. So if you're going to say what the main spice is, it's clove. Um, that seems to be pretty typical with a lot of bay rum fragrances, actually. So... Initially, you do get kind of a citrus clove. The citrus wears off pretty quickly, and then you get into the whole bay oil uh, portion of this fragrance. So the main player here, obviously, is bay oil and cloves. That's that's what you'll get for a whole lot of this. Doesn't smell bad. It does smell masculine. Uh, this is an eau de cologne, so you're probably not going to get very much in the way of longevity. You know, like an hour a lot of times, maybe an hour and a half. It's kind of like 4711 in that regard. Uh, most eau de colognes you don't get very good performance from. So it's the story with this one as well. Uh, it does smell pretty nice. If you dislike cloves or if you dislike bay oil, then you will most likely dislike this. Um, it runs $30 for 75 mils, so it's not really expensive. It's not really what I would consider a cheapie either though. Apparently they used to have these at Bath & Body Works, but they don't anymore. I don't know myself because I don't really go into Bath & Body Works. Uh, but apparently they actually carry a lot of the CO Bigelow line at Bath & Body Works. Whatever. So yeah, that's a, a quick look at Bay Rum by CO Bigelow. Uh, I think it's decent. It doesn't smell, you know, super synthetic. It doesn't smell cheap. Uh, it sets out to do one thing and it does that. Um, but like I said, it, it's an EDC, so the projection is not going to be big. The longevity is not going to be long. Um, it's kind of hard for me to rate it. Probably something like a 6 out of 10, because it, it, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, I would say it's a daytime scent, and it's better for fall and winter. Uh, it doesn't really work in spring or summer, most likely. And it would be hard to pull off as a night scent because it's going to go away so quickly. Um, if you carry around decants, this would be one that you would need that for. Alright, that's all I've got on this one. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have smelled this. Let me know what you think about it. And thanks.